Start by reading the goal. Let's see what we have. Student wants to compare some disadvantages of docked and dockless bike share programs. So connotation might help me here. Let's see. Uh, dockless programs can be disorganized. Docked programs, on the other hand, offer order and consistency. Well, that sounds like a positive. I don't know if that's what we want, right? We want to do disadvantages. Didn't say talk about the disadvantages and advantages. So this seems like the wrong connotation. B, worth noting is that while dockless programs are relatively easy and inexpensive to implement, they are less flexible than docked programs. Again, that sounds like an advantage. Um, and I don't really get disadvantage of the docked program. So this seems wrong too. This is positive. Um, docked programs are more resource intensive than dockless programs. That sounds bad. But they avoid some of the latter's organizational challenges. So okay. So it is saying in a positive way, the doc programs avoid some things, but notice how they're, they're kind of in a backdoor way, still talking about the uh, the challenges involved with the um, dockless program. So we got more disadvantages here. The connotation seems a little bit more on, on target. Um, D, though dockless programs offer flexibility, positive. Docked bike share programs provide bicycles for shared use. This is both positive, so no. So yeah, I, I wouldn't really think much of it here. It's C. It's the only one that really is hitting disadvantages pretty hard. The others are maybe dabbling in that and, and bringing up a disadvantage of one of the types. But what I really like about C, even though it's not direct about it, it is still giving me a disadvantage of each, right? What's the disadvantage of the docked programs? They're resource intensive. What is the disadvantage of the dockless programs? They have organizational challenges. Good enough. Disadvantages of both. That was the goal, right? To compare disadvantages of both of them. So it's not quite the same thing as saying compare and contrast the advantages and disadvantages of each. That's a little bit more inclusive of maybe A and B, but that's not what they asked for. So this is why reading the goal and understanding it exactly is really important because I wouldn't have to reread anything here. I would know that C is right and I'd be able to move on.